In this video, we will discuss white QRS, their features and EKG finding. White QRS may have a slow to normal rate or it may be white complex tachycardia WCT. The white complex tachycardia may be with regular rhythm or with irregular rhythm. In the slow to normal rate white complex QRS, we have heart block, idioventricular rhythm and premature ventricular contraction. Normally, heart blocks cause narrow QRS complexes as you see in a narrow QRS complexes, regular rhythm is caused by the first degree heart block and irregular rhythm narrow QRS is caused by the second and a third degree heart block. But if the heart block is at a distant level below the bundle of his, then it causes wide complex QRS. When QRS is wide in heart block, block is distal to bundle of his. Second, the list is idioventricular rhythm. So what's an idioventricular rhythm? When the conduction from atria to the ventricles is completely interrupted or if both SA node and AV node are knocked down then ventricle beats of their own due to automaticity at a slower rate this is known as idioventricular rhythm so how signals are transmitted in idioventricular rhythm ventricular signals are transmitted cell to cell between cardiac myocytes due to intrinsic automaticity of the ventricular myocardium not by the conduction system. Rate is usually 20 to 40 beats a minute in idioventricular rhythm. Slow rate but the rate depends on the site of the block. The block may be at the AV node or infranodal block. In infranodal block the rate may be as low as 15 beats a minute. The rhythm is regular in idioventricular rhythm and the P wave is absent and the wide bizarre QRS complexes. So wide QRS complexes with a slow rate rhythm and absent P wave in idioventricular rhythm. So when does idioventricular rhythms occur? It occurs in end stage cardiac disease and in reperfusion of the cardiac tissue in acute myocardial infarction. If the rate is 40 to 100 beat a minute, it is called accelerated idioventricular rhythm and is due to ventricular ectopics. Accelerated idioventricular rhythm is a form of ventricular tachycardia and occurs in acute myocardial infarction and digitalis toxicity. When it occurs with reperfusion therapy with thrombolytic drug, it means the treatment of reperfusion is successful. So what's the difference between the idioventricular rhythm and the ventricular tachycardia? It's the rate which is slow here in idioventricular rhythm. So next in the line with wide QRS with slow to normal rate is premature ventricular contraction. In premature ventricular contraction, the white QRS bizarre complexes with absent P wave preceding the PVC. And why P wave is absent? Because the PVC originates from the ventricle. QRS is more than 140 millisecond. T wave is in the opposite direction to the QRS and ST segment is also opposite to the QRS. There is a complete compensatory pause in PVC. So what's a complete compensatory pause? The distance between the QRS before and after after the PVC is twice the sinus rate that's complete compensatory pause and if there is trigeminy the rate is more than 100 then it is ventricular tachycardia so PVC may also cause a white complex QRS with fast rate also what's the shape of QRS in PVC if it's unifocal then the QRS is regular in shape and if it's multifocal then the QRS is variable in size and shape so now the white complex tachycardia is regular rhythm we have ventricular tachycardia the most common cause 80 percent of cases of regular ventricular tachycardia is ventricular tachycardia and supraventricular tachycardia with aberrancy in 15 to 20 percent of cases other causes are atrial flutter with aberrancy that causes regular rhythm QRS. Atrial flutter alone causes narrow QRS but if you see here atrial flutter with aberrancy causes a regular rhythm wide complex tachycardia. Atrial flutter with variable block causes irregular wide complex tachycardia. So atrial flutter alone causes narrow complex QRS whereas atrial flutter with aberrancy causes regular wide complex tachycardia. Whereas 
this atrial flutter with variable block causes irregular white complex tachycardia. These are the three different features of the atrial flutter. Supraventricular tachycardia with aberrancy also causes regular rhythm white complex tachycardia. Whereas supraventricular tachycardia otherwise they cause narrow QRS. Similarly atrial fibrillation causes irregular rhythm narrow QRS when it's alone. But atrial fibrillation with aberrancy causes irregular rhythm white complex tachycardia. Other causes of regular rhythm white complex QRS tachycardia are Wolf Parkinson White syndrome. But Wolf Parkinson White syndrome with atrial fibrillation causes irregular rhythm white complex tachycardia. And the next cause is hyperkalemia that causes regular rhythm white complex tachycardia. But if potassium level goes very high then it goes irregular to ventricular fibrillation and ACIST. Some of the drugs cause a regular rhythm white complex tachycardia and some of the drugs that prolong the QT interval they cause polymorphic ventricular tachycardia. Other causes of the irregular rhythm white complex tachycardia are polymorphic ventricular tachycardia that include torsidi pontis, Bergara syndrome, catecholaminergic ventricular tachycardia and drug I already told and chronic renal disease. So the white complex irregular rhythm QRS is caused by atrial flutter with variable block, atrial fibrillation with Wolf Parkinson white syndrome, atrial fibrillation with aberrancy and the polymorphic VTAC we already discussed. So the most common cause of regular rhythm white complex tachycardia is ventricular tachycardia in ventricular tachycardia rate usually ranges from 140 to 200 beats a minute and QRS duration is usually more than 140 milliseconds. QRS are wide and bizarre. Rhythm may be regular or irregular in ventricular tachycardia although regular is more common and the regular is monomorphic in which QRS are uniform in shape. So regular rhythm uniform QRS. Monomorphic ventricular tachycardia may occur without structure heart diseases or in a fixed anatomic substrate previous MI or in cardiomyopathy whereas polymorphic ventricular tachycardia have QRX which are variable from beat to beat irregular rhythm see here QRX complexes are wide bizarre and irregular rhythm what's the cause of polymorphic ventricular tachycardia it's most commonly caused by abnormalities of ventricular muscle repolarization most common causes are acute ischemia or myocardial infarction myocarditis and a prolongation of QT interval. Atrial fibrillation is the most common cause of irregularly irregular rhythm. Other causes are atrial fibrillation with Wolf Parkinson White syndrome, atrial fibrillation with aberrancy, atrial flutter as we already discussed with a variable block and polymorphic ventricular tachycardia and hyperkalemia. They all cause irregularly irregular rhythm. Now EKG features of ventricular tachycardia. Number one, AV dissociation. So what are the clinical features of AV dissociation? Can an A wave in the neck and a variable first heart sound or a split first heart sound. Number two, P wave absent or difficult to recognize. Number three, when the sinus rhythm with white QRS becomes narrow with a tachycardia. Number four, a Q wave in chest lead V6 favors the ventricular origin of an arrhythmia. Number five, in ventricular tachycardia with left bundle branch block. QRS is predominantly negative in precordial leads. And number two, QRS is more than 160 milliseconds in VTAC with LBBB. And the R wave in LBB with VTAC is more than 40 milliseconds in leads V1 and V2. And there is a Q wave in lead V6. And number six, in VTAC with right bundle branch block. QRS is predominantly positive in precordial leads. Number two, QRS is more than 140 milliseconds in RBBB whereas it was more than 160 milliseconds in VTAC with LBBB and in VTAC with RBBB there is onset of R wave to neither of the S wave is more than 100 milliseconds and there is a dominant S wave in lead V6. Non ventricular and supraventricular causes of regular rhythm white complex tachycardia. Try to make it alphabet A for AV block, C for conduction defects, right left bundle branch block drugs antiarrhythmic drug electrolyte abnormalities hyperkalemia pacemaker and wolf parkinson white these are the supraventricular and 
non ventricular causes of the regular rhythm white complex tachycardia what's the duration of qrs in different conditions wider the qrs complex more likely it is to be ventricular in origin but if the ventricular tachycardia origin is in or close to the interventricular septum then the qrs is less than 0.14 second an svt can have a qrs of more than 0.14 seconds in right bundle branch block and more than 0.16 seconds in left bundle branch block so when does qrs of more than 160 milliseconds occur in svt a qrs of more than 160 milliseconds in svt occurs with pre existent bundle branch block svt with aberrancy causes white qrs complex that result from conduction delay or block or both along the bundle branches or the fascicles now wolf parkinson white syndrome that cause both regular rhythm and irregular rhythm white complex tachycardia what's a wolf parkinson white syndrome that there is an abnormal focus of impulse generation bundle of kent that first excites the atria and then the ventricle without passing through the av node so there is no delay so what are the features of the wolf parkinson white syndrome that there is a delta wave on the upstroke of the qrs white qrs complex short pr interval a p wave is present in all these complexes that rules out a ventricular rhythm impulses that are generated in the bundle of kent they cause paroxysms of tachycardia atrial fibrillation and rapid ventricular rate and that become irregular drugs that block the av nodes they are not used in wolf parkinson white syndrome mnemonic is abcd they include adenosine amiodarone beta blockers calcium channel blockers and digoxin next with regular rhythm white complex qrs tachycardia we'll discuss drug three types of drug we will discuss sodium channel blockers digoxin and tricyclic antidepressant in the sodium channel blockers class 1a and 1c drug cause sustained monomorphic ventricular tachycardia so how do they cause it slow intramyocardial conduction widens the qrs complex intramyocardial muscle to muscle conduction slowing also occurs in ventricular hypertrophy in dilatation cardiomyopathy and congenital heart disease second is severe digitalis overdose what does it cause it causes bidirectional ventricular tachycardia and what's bidirectional ventricular tachycardia alternating right and left axis deviation in the limb lead why there is alternating right and left axis deviation it's due to alternating impulse formation in the left posterior and left anterior fascicles third drug group that causes regular rhythm white complex qrs is tricyclic antidepressants examples are amiparamine amitriptyline and nortriptyline what's their mechanism of action they block the reuptake of noradrenaline and serotonin at the transporter sites so what are the ekd features of tricyclic antidepressant overdose prominent positive r wave in avr number 2 sinus tachycardia with qrs and qt prolongation especially with mental changes so the next in the regular rhythm white qrs tachycardia will discuss hyperkalemia what are the ekg features of hyperkalemia the upper normal limit of potassium level is 5.5 milli equivalent per liter a hyperkalemia of more than 6.5 milli equivalent per liter causes absent p wave qrs prolongation and st elevation peak t wave and prolonged pr interval when the level of the potassium goes more than 9 it causes loss of r amplitude so loss of p wave loss of r amplitude and then there is appearance of sine wave what sine wave qrst merged together that is sine wave in hyperkalemia when it's more than 9 then causing ventricular tachycardia and that becomes irregular and ventricular fibrillation leading to asystole generally speaking the hyperkalemia causes absent p wave loss of r amplitude st depression t wave peak white qrs and prolonged pr interval white b wave is absent in hyperkalemia hyperkalemia stops depolarizing the atrial muscles that causes absent p wave now we will discuss white complex tachycardia with irregular rhythm we have already discussed earlier atrial fibrillation and aberrancy that causes white complex irregular tachycardia and atrial flutter with variable block and aberrancy that also causes white complex irregular tachycardia. 
tachycardia. Others included in white complex irregular rhythm tachycardia are torsidipontis, Borgata syndrome, catecholaminergic ventricular tachycardia, and the drug that cause QT prolongation. And finally, we will discuss chronic renal disease cause white complex irregular rhythm tachycardia. Next is Borgata syndrome. We already have a separate video on that. For more information, please watch it. There is a family history of sudden cardiac death at a young age, especially during sleep, hemodynamic collapse due to ventricular tachycardia and fibrillation in the absence of structural heart disease causes sudden cardiac death in Borgata syndrome. There is QRS widening in the anterior chest lead with ST elevation and right bundle branch morphology. Now we will discuss torsidipontis that causes irregular white complex polymorphic ventricular tachycardia. Torsidipontis means twisting at a point. Twisting occurs above and below the isoelectric baseline. Ventricular tachycardia in TDP is characterized by QRS complexes of changing amplitude that twist around the isoelectric baseline. We have a separate video on TDP. For more information, please watch that. Catecholaminergic ventricular tachycardia causes syncope or sudden death in young patients under emotional and physical stress. Condition may be familial and may cause polymorphic ventricular tachycardia with irregular rhythm during exercise and when catecholamine are infused. Now the drugs that cause QT prolongation may also cause polymorphic ventricular tachycardia and they include number one antiarrhythmic drug amiodarone, procainamide, quinidine, disopyramide, sotalol and ibutilide. These antiarrhythmics may prolong the QT interval and may cause polymorphic ventricular tachycardia. Amongst the antibiotic macrolide group erythromycin and clarithromycin may prolong the QT interval and may cause polymorphic VT. Fluoroquinolone may also cause polymorphic ventricular tachycardia. Amongst the drug used in psychiatric patients are haloperidol, SSRI and lithium may prolong the QT interval. Now ECG triad of chronic renal disease that may cause irregular white complex ventricular tachycardia. So the two electrolytes that may be involved in this are potassium and calcium. In chronic renal disease there is hyperkalemia increased potassium and hypocalcemia decreased calcium. Hyperkalemia causes peaked T-wave, whereas hypocalcemia, decreased calcium, causes increase in phase 2 or the isoelectric ST segment. Amiodarone acts also in the same way by increasing the phase 2 that increases the QT interval and may cause polymorphic ventricular tachycardia. The other features of the chronic renal disease are the LVH, left ventricular hypertrophy. We have a separate video on EKG of LVH with hypertension that suggests chronic renal failure.